Hello and welcome to our video where we're going to show you how to remove the rear window cassette on an Audi RX Spider. Now these cars have a big issue where there's drain holes at the bottom of the cassette, they get blocked and the water fills up in the cassette, the cables aren't of very good quality and then the regulator fails. We're going to go through the stages where we're going to open the roof halfway in order to get to panels at the back, remove those bolts, where they're going to open the roof fully and then we're going to take off the trims inside the car such that we can access the bolts for the window cassette. We'll then remove the cassette in order to show you how it's removed, such that it can be sent to us for reconditioning. So we get the roof in this position, such that we can access the trim panel at the back over here. In order to get this trim out here, you've got seven bolts, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, T30 bolts, remove those bolts, lift the rubber, and then pull the trim out. So you, once you've got the bolts out, you lift this uh, rubber out and then you can simply just remove this from here and then obviously remove the rubber to get this trim off completely. So removing this, these trim panels on both sides is really easy. Just put a trim removal tool in and just peel this forward like this. Once it pops out, pull it outwards and upwards and you can see you've got the rubber grommets. I don't see one's missing but one, two, three and four. Putting it back is also really easy. Just make sure you get the bottom in first, press it down, and then clip it in. So the, removing this part is actually quite easy. It's just a trim held on with loads of clips. Once it's pressed in, just put your fingers behind it, just pull it out like that. Okay, to remove this uh, cubby hole here, remember it is seated behind this. Now you can do this before or after you remove this. Sometimes I do it before. Once you've loosened this bolt here and this bolt here, you've got a bit of give here, where you can just lift this and pull it out but show you where the bolts are one two three and four and then loosen these and this cubby hole then comes out i just forgot to mention there's one more bolt for this and it's just in the middle at the back here so to remove this panel here you've got to unclip this trim here you've got a bolt here you've got this bolt here not this one this one only this one here this one here, that one there, and the two just over here, which I've already removed, and not forgetting to unclip this panel here. So we've pulled these out here and over here. We've got the bolts out on this side here. We've removed the bolts here, removed the bolts here, and removed the long bolts here. This is now ready to come out. Now remember, when you do pull it out, you've got wires over here, and you've got wires over here. Ultimately, to get it out, you just pull it out and uh, lift it out from here like this and this here and you can take this forward and seat it down there on the driver's side you can see you've also got a tweeter here that you need to unplug before lifting the panel out we're now on the passenger side you can see you can the tweeter and the parking sensor you have to unplug these before lifting this panel so over here we've got two wiring plugs One's for the tweeter here, another one is here for the parking sensors, it's the, the buzzer. And if I come around on this side here, there's one more plug on the driver's side that you need to disconnect before you remo remove this cable. And this, this, this one here, and that's for the tweeter, that's just down here. What we've got in the middle here is the motor for the rear window. It's held on by three bolts, one, two and three. And uh, you've got the manual override here with a square drive in the middle. Now, when you remove these bolts, be careful because you've got some aluminium spaces at the back, three of them. So make sure you catch them when you remove these bolts. So one, two, three bolts out, unplug the plug here and just wiggle the motor and take it out. So we've got to disconnect a few things here. Um, starting off, we've got the hall sensors, which are connected here. So you can see this plug here with red and black wires it connects in there and it's clipped in on the top here with this clip. Then you've got the wiring for the demister. So I've actually already taken the pins out here with this plug here. So this plug goes in there with these pins in this plug on my left hand and it's clipped in just at the back here. I've had to disconnect a couple of the cable ties just to get access. Just to show you where the bolts are holding the cartridge in place, there's four bolts. There's one there, there's one further down at the bottom there 
you can just see it, which you access through this hole here. Come around the other side. We've got one on the top, just there, and another one at the bottom, just there. Now, I've removed this three bolts here for the fuse box just to get some access. Okay, so just to summarize, we've disconnected the wiring over here. So you can see the wires for the demister are loose, and also the hall sensor is unplugged. The motor is out of the way, and we remove the four bolts which is one, two, three, and four. Remember to mark those bolts so you know the relative position of the window cartridge. Now to get the cartridge out, there's a drain over here and a drain over there, and it's just basically a plastic uh, pipe in a rubber sleeve. So you might have to give that a bit of a wiggle. We've had this out already, so it's nice and easy. Just pull that and the cartridge comes out. You feed your wires through. Just got caught slightly. And there's your cartridge, it's out. And just for ease, you can also see the bolts where it mounts. One, two, three, and four. So this is your cartridge that's out. As you can see, you've got the two drains on the bottom, over here and over here. You've got the connections for the motor with a square drive. And then you've got the wiring for the sensors and the heated rear window. We hope you found our video useful and if you did please hit like share and subscribe to our youtube channel thanks for watching